situation, the fact that he's due back here tomorrow, but also as well, it seems that his commitment's being questioned by <coughs> Ahmed Hassan has said he is the captain, he should stay with the team no matter what, even if he only had one leg to stand on and, and yeah. make of that. Let me first say, the one, you should never doubt the commitment of Moussa Allah. I never met a guy, a player, but also a human being who's more committed to the life of being a professional football player. And... Um, I know the country is devastated losing him. We were devastated to hear that he uh, got injured. He plays the first game, scores, assists, captain, massive importance, of course. But the only reason why he, our medical team and their medical team decided for him to come back is to give him the be best possible chance to be available in the final, if Egypt reaches the final. But at the same time as well, mm. I mean, when you hear of, of, of Mo getting injured, it's such a, an unusual situation. Because we used to talking about him being so durable. Yeah. So, um. so I think I think because of the um, because of the first message what came out that it would be probably only a few days, one week. But then they made a detailed scan, and then it uh, came out that there's a, a proper tear in his hamstring. So it means that it will take expected return to play will be between three and four weeks. If everything goes smooth and everything goes right, Mo knowing it will go smooth and it will go right because how he treated his body before. Um, but yeah, now I said before, it, 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 um, what I'm really happy about, and that's that the medical team of Egypt and the medical team of uh, Liverpool Football Club really work together and were really in close contact and they both made this decision. So it's... It's an example how international football with club football should cooperate to put the player in the center and not uh, um, targets of everyone because it's a, it's a conflict of inter interest. No, but uh, how the, how it how it works now is that they we made all of us made the decision what's best for him and for him it's the best have a stable environment, knowing the people, having a proper. Uh, People who are committed, not uh, who have time and focus on this rehab process, and we know how it will go here in, in this facility. And uh, yeah, uh, last time we were with you, Pep, we spoke about players stepping up in the absence of other players. As well. <laughs> how much of an example is Diogo Jota of that? It's five goals in his last eight for Liverpool, but more than the goals, the assists as well. Yeah. Obviously, I never judge him only of that, but yeah, it's really important. Uh, Darwin as well, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Now it's really. Um, yeah, that's the sign of a good squad, and uh, that's a sign of um, of the character, and I mean the passion and the ambition of the players we have, uh, all of them. Uh, yeah, I I really uh, Jota is um, is a player who, when he's in this angry mood, <laughs> when he's in this mood where he wants to run against the world, where he wants to decide, he can do things which is incredible and. Uh, yeah, we have to get him in this mood as often as possible. But what uh, yeah, really, really uh, happy with how Darwin, Lucho, Diogo, Harvey, Cody, how they all step up in different moments. It's never that you can rely on him. But it was the same with Bobby, Mo, and Sadio. When Mo didn't play well, Bobby played well. If Sadio and Mo didn't, Bobby was the one. If Sadio was not creating, Mo would score the goal. So what I'm trying to say is that that's um, when you are drilled, if you are trained. Um, if they are all committed, if they are confident, these things happen. So, yeah. I just wanted to ask you about Curtis Jones as well. Maybe a bit of noise about him sneaking into the England squad for the Euros. What do you think? A no brainer. Yeah. Tell us why. You have eyes, no? <laughs> all of you guys. <laughs> yeah. If you're decisive, if you're top of the league and you're the, the, one of the most decisive players in the team and uh, who who is with and without the ball, the player who sets the tone, who takes the initiative, who always shows up. Um, yeah, But with playing a lot of games, uh, you get some small niggles as well. You saw in the last game and he, he's still young, but he acts like a, like a, like a senior. You know? He takes himself out of precaution. Yesterday he was fine, so uh, no issue. So that's really, really cool. Hi Pat, um, on Darwin, 10 goals, 10 assists this season, um, I know 
strikers are judged on goals, but he's much more yeah. than a goal scorer, isn't he? And he's always involved in a game, isn't he? Yeah, chaos all around him. <laughs> Could be a song. Um, nah, he... Um, yeah. We are really happy with him, but I said that last time and the time before. It's like um, uh, young, hungry, energy, direction. Uh, each game he can create six chances just by himself. Um, yeah. If he trains like how he trains, if he keeps the, 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 the braveness in his play, um, then goals will come because he's creating and the team is creating and... Uh, he will become better. Everybody says, "Oh, this is the p no." He will become better. He will improve, and he will. He's already important you know, for this team. Uh, yeah, that's really nice to see. I'm really happy. Yeah, we are really happy. And Conor Bradley put another great performance against Bournemouth. How yeah. crucial was that loan to Bolton for his development and his confidence as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the right moments, the right loan makes a big difference. It's uh, where England, England is famous for. Um, find the right. Timings to play in the, in the lower league, um, but it's really important that he goes to the right manager who does a, did an unbelievable job. The right style of play. He he's a player who, like two years ago, Owen back and Connor Bradley in the second team, the right side, the left side, they dominated the complete channel offensively and defensively. So we knew it's not a surprise, and how he's training now, it's not a surprise what he's doing. We always believed that it's part of our project you know, to bring these young players from since already a long time. We had so many games, so many important games and so many decisive games where <laughs> these players were involved. So it's nice to see Connor now as well in this and, and the loan, yeah, of course, yeah, if you can make minutes, senior, right style and then come back immediately after the preseason. But we always believed he, did, he, he was not a player who went alone to great market or he went on loan to come back and to to play was really unlucky with uh, with the injury because if you guys saw preseason, that was impressive, no? And he, he's that's what I said the other day to Jurgen. The young players, our players, the work the academy is doing, the work Vito Matus is doing with our t with uh, with the young players, um, the belief we have as management to bring them. But how they do it is just impressive. So Connor, he leaves his position to press. So he's already five minutes in front of two players who stay up and go because he knows. But then with the ball, he are just so easy to move to the half space to the inside. Not even you don't have to tell. You just just to try and these things because they are trained for so many years, and the boys have so much courage and they know that we trust. And then it's it's nice to see this. I'm, ha I'm really happy that. Everybody outside the world, but we see it already since six, seven years that uh, that, we, that all these young players make such an impact, and that's a sign of. A, I'm talking too much. That's a sign for a healthy, uh, healthy club. Yeah. Well, okay. You. Um, you just give an update on the, the injury list. How how players faring in terms of recovery and return? Yeah. So Kurt has just spoken about none, uh, because I think that's an important one to say. Trend is now two weeks. Uh, he will join team training in the end of the week. So hopefully we'll be ready for the FA Cup. Uh, Dominique trained yesterday with us. Um, he will be... He, tomorrow will come too soon, but he will be ready for the FA Cup. If everything goes smooth, of course. Um, Robo, um, that's now 13 weeks after surgery. So he got the uh, clearance to train fully with the team, can make contact, bone healed. So that's really, really cool. I just met him in the canteen and he said, Pep, I took my tracksuit with me yeah, today. <laughs> so, but he only trained once, so he's pushing himself into the squad. Uh, it's nice because he's one of our captains, so really important, so that's cool. But speaking about, speaking about Robo, we have to speak about Joe Gomez because what he's doing this season playing on the right, playing in the center, playing on the left. We ask him to move inside to be the extra player. <sighs> Every time the side, probably our most consistent player this season. And uh, I'm really, really happy for him. And uh, it shows a lot about our squad, I think, uh, that these players can play more positions and do it in a way. But, uh, so that's good. Then... Good, Tom. That's it, no?
probably more we more we spoke about. Yeah. If if he trains well today. <laughs> So he's available to play. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, medical team said it's a coaching decision, so he's in. Obviously, the team are competing on four fronts. But what, what do you think this competition, especially, can do can do for you in terms of success in the Carabao? Do you think that would have a real positive impact on the other competitions you're in? Yeah, I I, I said before, no. Um, playing finals is one of the most important things for a team to develop, winning them. <laughs> Um, uh, playing a semi-final in January is great in the season. It, being able to reach Wembley, one of the most iconic stadiums in the world, is unbelievable. Uh, all these things have impact on development. It uh, it creates a squad as well. I said it two years ago when we play all four competitions till the end. Um, it creates for all players a constant... Um, constant opportunity that maybe they're not playing now but in two weeks they will they know that they're going to play so they train in a different way so that's really important um, so all of all I like a lot if we play every three days the more games we play the better because it means that everybody will be involved you are reaching finals uh, what means development more difficult games means more development so yeah it's 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 important uh, yeah and it gives Opportunity, you know, we would not have seen all these players, these young ones, if you're not, you don't play in four competitions. Yeah. Just asking, yeah. sorry, if you travel plans, it's going to be affected by the storm at all, and if that makes things slightly trickier for you. Well, we had, we drove back from Bournemouth, <laughs> but it's the second time. Fulham, no, what so far I know, so I, <clears throat> so far I know, everything uh, is good to travel. We travel by train, no? We are green club, so we travel by train. <laughs> The last one. Just ask for Callum Ramsey. Pep has obviously come back from press. Mm. Difficult 18 months since mm. Gerard Aberdeen. Yeah. Um, Jürgen's forward to him. And is, is the plan to get him back out for the second half of the season? Yeah. yeah. Him and Nate. Huh? So, good example. So, there's interest. What's so good? Uh, we have to find with the agent, with himself, with the clubs, uh, the right decision for, for the player. He needs to have game time, needs to play, have a lot of success. That's why I like the move of Fabio, uh, for example. He plays a lot. So, is straight away decisive together with Tyler and Matt New Newberry I was uh, head of loans he's full of business no this window he needs a holiday after this for sure but um, nah these uh, these boys have all potential otherwise they would not be with us but they need as well the right pathway and what you said no a good loan can do wonders so uh, 